Hello, I'm Dietlip Tam from the University of Copenhagen and here is Helle Fort from the same university. For the last two years we have uh, been uh, translating and are now editing the old Danish laws from the Middle Ages in English language. We are now sitting in the library, Royal Library of Copenhagen in front of us. We have some of the manuscripts we have used and we would like to share with you for a few minutes the joys of looking into those texts which we have been translating. I hold in my hand a manuscript of the Law of Scania, perhaps the oldest of the Danish medieval laws, written down in the beginning of the 13th century. We do not know exactly by whom. We do not have anything close to original manuscript, but we have from the time around 80 this very special manuscript in which the law is written down not in normal letters but in runic alphabet that shows us something of the specific power attached to the law and being the oldest law we also find in it the oldest Danish tune we find a small song known as uh, oh. I dreamt and a dream tonight of silk of nice clothing. From the province of Scania, we also have another medieval source of the law, which in time comes very close to the Danish text. I hold here a little book, a much later manuscript, but it is a text which is from the beginning of the 12th century, composed by the Archbishop Lund, Anders Sunesen, probably the most learned man in Denmark in the beginning of the 13th century. He had studied in Bologna, was a friend of Innocent III. And in this book, what he does is that he gives a little otherwise composed in the Danish law his translation into Latin of the Danish text with some commentaries of the law seen from the point of view of a cleric. We know the book as the Liber Legis Scania or Anasunison's paraphrase and it's a very important source for us to understand completely also the Danish text. In front of me is the manuscript of what's probably the most famous of the Danish Middle Evil Laws, the Law of Jutland from 1241. It has a prologue and the prologue tells us that it was given by the King Valdemar. This manuscript stems probably from the time around 1280. It's not an original manuscript and we do not know exactly what has happened to the law from the time of 1241 to 80, but we are probably quite, quite close to the <coughs> original text. It starts out with a prologue, and in that prologue, the initial words are known by nearly all Danes. It says that on the law you shall build the country. Denmark in the Middle Ages was divided into three provinces, each with its own law. We have heard about the law of Scania to the east. We have heard about the law of Jutland. And in between we find the island of Sealand, which had its own law or its own laws. The manuscript I hold in my hand, this small book, probably also dates from the time around 1280. We even know the name of the man who has uh, written the text down, but we do not know exactly who wrote down these two laws. The law of Valdemar, a king's name, and the law of Erik. The law may even be older than the law of Scania. <coughs> we find them here in this text introduced by the same prologue, which was a prologue of the law of Jutland. There are many interesting questions attached to the interpretation also of the afterlife of these laws. We have many texts because they remained in force 
right until 1683, when a new Danish law book for the whole kingdom of Denmark was introduced. But we have many different manuscripts, some newer, some have been revised, many ways of reading the text. In the translation which we use and which we will edit, we have taken those texts which we think come closest to the original text. And it is our hope that, having seen now the books as they look, you look forward to read the texts in English language. Mm -hmm.